Logic Pro has so many fantastic sounds built right into it. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you that you can absolutely make a really fantastic sounding drum part with Logic Pro stock plugins. What's up you guys, Nathan Larson here, back at you with another video for those of you guys who make music at home, whether you're an artist, songwriter, producer, if you write and record your own music at home, this is the channel for you. And if that sounds like you at all, you need to subscribe to the channel right there, it's right there. Click it. And in this video, I'm going to be producing a drum part with nothing but the Logic Pro built-in sounds. So all I did was create a simple synth loop and then I'm going to be creating an entire drum beat based on that. I'm gonna show you how I did it in this video. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do first is actually listen to the loop that I created and then we're gonna go ahead and start building this thing from scratch. So here is the loop. Boom, so that's the loop that we've got, and there we go. So it's got a little bit of that, I don't know, like cinematic kinda vibe, I guess you could say, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some fun building some drums to this. So like I said, we're gonna be only using Logic stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and just open up like 10 different stock, I guess, just nothing instruments. There's nothing on here at all. Let's just do it. So the first thing I wanna do is find a kick and start figuring out what kind of vibe I wanna go for. Let's just do that to start. Sure, why not? So let's go ahead and do that. 16th notes. Cool, that's pretty cool. Let's just, uh, let's just rock and roll with that, sir. Um, now what I want to do is start finding some different kind of stuff. So let's just do snare here. Really? Oh, these are all rims. Huh, that's why. Hmm. I think that works there. Let's just do that. Command R is what does that. All right, let's find another kick here that we can give us a little bit more depth. Maybe. Oh. Okay, cool, so I like that. Speed is what I'm going for right now. Let's make this fast. Let's do a hi-hat or some sort of a hi-hat-ish kind of a sound. I like that, that's cool. I think I'm gonna... Let's just use this last four. Move that there, copy it. All right, and then what I wanna do is actually add some 30 second notes in here so get some rolls. Cool. Let's duplicate this. Let's take this over here. Let's pan it. Let's find a different one. Different hi-hat. I don't know. Maybe it would be cool to just... Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, let's got him. We got to move on. Let's move on. Cool. Let's let's do a rim. Okay, 
Cool. Let's do another clap here. I don't know if they have any snaps though. There we go. I like that's kind of messy. It's not perfect. Yeah, like a 16th note early, that makes it just kind of feel a little more. Let's get some reverb on there. We'll just use, since we're doing everything in Logic here, let's just go ahead and use the reverb in Logic. You know what? I think it might be kind of interesting to see like what kinds of loops they actually have in here. Let's do genre, no instrument, drums. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drag this in, not because I want any of the snare sounds, because I want some of these other ones. I want to isolate the, here's what we're going to do. We're going to chop this up. That's what you call getting creative, folks. Now we just got to see if we can make sure the accents aren't like off. <laughs> I think that actually works. Yes. Let's roll off some of this high stuff. Well, yeah, let's do a reverb, but I also was thinking this could kind of sound cool. All right, cool. Um, what I want to do now, let's take that, duplicate that sucker down, rev, clap, let's reverse this thing. Cool, so we got that bounce down to audio. Let's take that, grab it, more, reverse. I think I wanna only do it every other. Snares, I don't know, do we need another one? Which I kinda like that, it's kinda got a nice little to it. I think we might need to, let's take this, take this snare, add some reverb on it. It's kind of, nope. Okay. Sure. Uh, and then we're gonna reverse that as well. So let's bounce it. Let's reverse this. Get it exactly. I think, I think I like it. I think I like it. Oh snap, I just had an idea. What if on those hits right there, we automate some reverb and get a little bit more. <laughs> Turn to latch mode, now we do it. And then now we've got ourselves some automated reverb going on there. And I think, you know, it'd be kind of cool is actually maybe we want to do that same thing on this snare. Uh, we'll see how this sounds. Okay, I'm liking this. This is sounding pretty decent. Okay. Can we, can we turn that up a little bit, please? Can we turn that up a little bit, please? Utility gain stereo. Let's just add a little touch of reverb on here. All right, so we got the maracas. We got some cool stuff in here. 
I feel like we got some pretty decent stuff going on. All right, I mean, so we're clipping a little bit at the end here, but we can just turn everything down. Real quick, before we listen to what we wound up with, I wanna let you guys know that I'm giving away a free session breakdown of one of my own tracks, I Will Rise. That link is down below. This is a module from the Producer Accelerator Quartz, which is launching on January 27th. This free module will only be available until the launch at the end of January. So might as well get it right now. So let's go ahead and listen to it all the way through now that we've got it. Pretty much what I would consider, this is, so this is sounding pretty good. I mean, I might do more. I mean, this is obviously more of an exercise than anything, but here, let's see what we got. <laughs> 